to my channel my name is Tadiwa and today I thought that we could do a little bit of a kind of like a university journey I just wanted to give you know a little insight for those of you who are going to uni or those of you who are thinking of starting a sciencey course or a science-based course it's about the course that I do um, kind of like the tips and tricks if you are thinking of going into it and so on and so forth this is going to be mainly based on like biomedical science and healthcare sciences for me i have a little bit of experience of both there are a couple things if you are thinking of going on to these type of courses that you need to know so if we start from the beginning i chose biomedical science at first because you know i needed a backup plan for medicine and I really really wanted to be a pediatric cardiologist it was like my dream I really wanted to do it but after spending a long time I think in hospital and being sick ironically that's the whole reason I chose to be a pediatric doctor because I saw how hard they worked on me but then I started to think to myself mm. uh, no, I don't really feel like it you know I've had enough of hospitals I just was like no I don't think I can actually do it and I don't think that being a doctor is right for me and so when I chose biomedical science it was like a backup plan for those of you that don't know what it is or you're curious about it biomedical science is a science course at university and you basically go through like how the body works how diseases like disease pathology how diseases come about and you look at things mostly on a cellular level once graduating um you will then work in like a lab so biomedical science has got many different routes that you can go down you can work in industry you can work in like the pharmaceutical industry you can work in hr you can work pretty much in a lot of places it's not really like a course that where you like you choose it and that's the only path that you can go like dentistry you choose dentistry pretty much you have to then <laughs> become a dentist that's the goal but with biomedical science there's so many different things that you can do with the knowledge that you get if you are thinking of getting onto biomed specifically I would say you need to have a passion for science that's like the one thing like and passion can only get you so far you need to have a passion for it and you need to be good at science because I cannot explain enough and maybe I'll do another video of people who chose the course especially at my university thinking yeah cool like this is just gonna be like a stepping stone and they actually don't have a passion for biology and for chemistry one of the things that I would say is that you need to be you need to be good at chemistry like especially since some of the good jobs are like biochemistry and you need to be decent at it because you're gonna apply it a lot of the time and maths wise I feel like you can get away with it you just need to be decent at maths you need to know at least GCSE maths to kind of do the kind of maths that we that we do in the lab and um yeah you need to be hard working but i feel like that comes with all courses you need to actually want to succeed and the only way that you can go far especially in a course like biomed is if you actually have a passion for it and you want to succeed so i think that's kind of what you need in terms of characteristics you need to be driven and you need to be able to work by yourself be independent you can't be asking all the time for help uh, because most of the time you'll be doing a task on your ones pipetting on your ones so you need to be able to know how to use that and to learn um, I'd say learn quickly on your feet isn't easy at all the workload is tough I did biomed for a year and then the opportunity halfway through was to apply for healthcare sciences so the difference between biomedical science and healthcare science is that biomedical science you work you have a lot of options on what to work in you go to uni you do biomedical science and if you do a regular three-year course of biomedical science you'll graduate but you won't be a biomedical scientist yet so you have to get into a what's it called like an NHS training lab to be able to do your portfolio so you have to find a lab that is willing to train you for a year and um, 
when you do your portfolio you can then apply to be a biomedical scientist and then from there you can choose you can go up and up and up in your career and yeah that's like biomedical scientist but biomedical scientists they run tests sometimes they analyze them but usually their job is to maintain good lab equipment and to run the tests for me personally it just wasn't matching with what I wanted to do. I wanted to be, you know, analyzing them, giving advice. You know, your girl wanted to do more. <laughs> so when I was now looking last year for things to do, well, and came to like clinical science. And I was like, oh, clinical scientist seems a little bit more up my alley. And so the route for clinical science was recommended that you do um, healthcare sciences and then you get onto clinical sciences. My uni said, you know what, there's an opportunity for a select number of students um, to be able to get onto healthcare sciences, which starts in your second year, because the first year is all the same, but second year is when you guys would differ from biomedical science. With healthcare science, you have to know what you want to do straight away. You don't have an option of, oh, like, you know, with biomed, you have a little bit more thinking room, a little bit more moving room. But with um, healthcare science, you, once you choose what you want to do, you have to commit to it. With healthcare science, it's almost the UK and NHS way to get you to where you need to be if you want to work in a lab. So for me, I feel like when it comes to choosing if you want to go for biomed that's good because it's a safety blanket especially if you are not sure whether you want to work in a lab and i feel like for healthcare science it's a little bit harder and a little bit more you have to work while you're studying and you are training in the lab that most likely is going to employ you after university so you have a upper hand than most people because you already have lab experience hospital lab experience and you would have had your you get to do your portfolio while you're studying so by the time you finish university you can apply to be a biomedical scientist so for me I wanted to do my kind of plan is I want to do healthcare sciences graduate work and then gain experience because I'm doing healthcare sciences but I'm going to be so I'm doing healthcare sciences and with healthcare sciences you can choose which discipline that you want to specialize in while you're doing your undergraduate um, degree so I've chosen to specialize in genetics and I feel like yeah if you guys want me to share my journey on that I will but when I graduate it will then be healthcare science, genetic sciences is what I would have actually studied at university which makes me and your um, application if you then go to do clinical science masters through the STP program, the scientist training program to become a clinical scientist in whatever your discipline is it gives you a stepping stone because you would have already worked in a genetic or a genomics lab and or whatever lab either blood sciences you can do placements for them and um, you would have an upper hand than most who don't have that kind of experience and you'd have familiar faces because you would have done a placement with them as well so I feel like in terms of choosing it's all up to you and how sure you are of if you want to work in a pathology lab the first year my first year doing biomed was basically labs and lectures and to be honest labs are cool but you have to pay attention to what you do because you will only probably do that lab once and you and they're about three hours so you have to really pay attention and they can be really exhausting after a lab my timetable kind of gave us the day off because it's quite mentally exhausting and you have to remember what you do because even though you might not go through it again in the lab you will have to know it for future labs where they just assume that you know how to prepare and use you know different equipment and what they're used for so I feel like in that term labs were fine for first year lectures were good I think I'll go into more depth about labs and lectures in another video that's kind of like a little introduction video onto 
biomed and healthcare sciences and whether you're stuck on what to do i would say if you are not sure of what you want to do when you're older biomed but if you're kind of sure that you want to work in a lab then healthcare science is the way to go so it all just depends on what you want to do um both courses are really good both of them are really well taught at my university but yeah guys that is probably it i'll i'll see you guys on saturday um thank you so much for watching this video please like share subscribe i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i hope you found it informative and just comment leave a comment down below on the type of videos that you want to see if you enjoyed the video but yeah anyway guys i'll see you guys soon bye